you ought to ask yourself one question. What have I learned from the last 12 months? What have I discovered about myself? What have I thought about the things I've tried, the things I've possibly failed, the things I haven't done well? What have I learned from them? If I take out the emotion from the data of what I've discovered about myself, what have I found? Did I find I went about it the wrong way? Did I find I bitten off too much than I can chew? Did I put an overemphasis on the fact that I thought it would be easy and yet the struggle was much harder than I thought it would be? Did I misinterpret the circumstance that I need, the ingredients that I need to make the changes that I want to do? If I take out the emotion from those things, the setbacks that have befallen me, the things that I've really struggled with, what have I actually discovered that I can change to make the next thing that I want to try better? How is it that the thing I want to do hasn't been done already? What do I need to change to make that happen? Remind yourself to take the emotion out of the equation and look at the things and the ingredients that will make the changes that you want to do possible. Failure is often inevitable. Failure can be the greatest learning thing, but if we beat ourselves up with the emotional bully of failure, then we don't actually learn the thing to make the difference in the future. So if we take out that emotional bully, if we take away that person that wants to give us a really hard time, what have I discovered about myself? Try and look at it in the third person. Try and look at it from a distance. Try and be unemotional about it. And then discover, why haven't I done it yet? Did I just not show enough grit in the times where it is time to be narrow-minded? Did I have not enough bandwidth to take on the thing I'm trying to do? Did I misunderstand the task I was trying to do? Did I not have the skills set in place to make the thing worthwhile? All these things are possible. But if I don't acknowledge the fact that I've got to look at the task in front of me and why haven't I done it yet? Is it because I failed and I was too afraid to put myself out there again? Failure is always going to find us. It's always going to be there. It's always going to be around the next corner. No matter what we've just succeeded at. No matter how safe we try and play things. No matter what else we try and do. Failure is always going to be close by. But sometimes we don't have to fear it. Sometimes it doesn't have to be the thing that traps us into never going forward. So look at what you've learnt. Take the emotion out of it. See what you can find and what you can do this time around. Are there anchors in my life? Are there people that want me to stay where I am? Or am I telling myself an old story? The story of survival and yet this is a story of growth and bloom. Sometimes the story that lets us survive to a point isn't the story that we want to tell us for change. And if we're telling us ourselves that story, we won't progress on. So change your story. Learn the things that you need to learn and make the changes that you want to take. And don't be intimidated by failure. Failure is always going to be close by. But it doesn't have to be the story that defines us. Good luck. Be kind. And remember the most important person to be kind to is yourself. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.